welcome to PositiveMindset.tv where each week we delve into the mindsets and see how they are creating our experiences from our finances, our career, our children, our health, our relationships. Hi, my name is Lisa Myers and I am excited to have you here with us today. Today is a little different. We are having a special six week series on how to stop the negativity from overwhelming and destroying your life. Learn the secrets that others have to finding the right job or relationship or creating more money in your life. In part four of the six series program, we are going to talk today about the weeds and insects that attack your seeds of desires, passion, and wealth. So far, we have talked about the first three steps in our six part series. First series was on the soil, then the seeds you are wanting to plant. Next was watering and nourishing your new seeds. Then in series two comes the pressure known as germination. Series three was the roots, when you practice time and stability. Next is this fourth series, our weeds and insects. I know that in the garden my husband has, he has to watch for weeds and insects. When a garden begins to grow, you know, the first thing that pops up is the weeds, and then there are those pesty critters, which can eat at the roots, then the plant never grows. What are the weeds and insects in your life garden? People, the environment, negativity, our belief, our worthiness. As those precious roots grow and the plant is trying to pop its little head out of the soil, if you do not weed your garden or take care of the insects, your plant stops growing. There was a test done with fleas in a jar. The fleas were placed inside of a jar and the lid was closed. As the fleas tried to get out of the jar, they continually hit their head on top of the, on the lid. Eventually, they stopped jumping as high. The lid was eventually taken off and the fleas died because they never ever jumped over the top. How often do we start a new project or have a new idea and then the first thing that shows up are our friends and family telling us that it cannot be done, that it won't work, and you might as well not even try. We rise to the level of the five people we spend the most time with. Are you spending time with negative people that tell you not to even go after your dreams? What about the environment you live in? Is it uplifting and supportive? Are you listening to negative music or constantly watching the news telling you how bad everything is? We are creating an environment that supports and moves us to our dreams. Another way to do this is by making a point of adding value to people you meet. Ask yourself each day, how did I add value to someone else's life today? Make a list, that will help. Create another list to keep track of all of your accomplishments for each day. These do not have to be major tasks, but keep track even of the small ones as you notice that you're getting things done, you have that sense of success. This is a critical step to creating your desires, passion, and wealth. Henry Ford said, if you think you can do a thing, or you think you can't do a thing, you're right. Again, if you think you can do a thing, or you think you can't do a thing, you're right. A reminder, if you need help, positive change hypnosis is an easy and effective way to move from negativity to positive thinking. Stop the weeds and those insects that are sucking your positive energy dry. To recap with the first series, prepare the soil, adding nutrients, which is awareness. Seeds that you are planting are your intentions. Watering your thoughts or your feelings and actions. Second series is germination, moving past the pressures that will come. The third series is the roots. There's time and stability for things to come into your life. Fourth series is getting rid of the weeds and insects known as negativity. 
I am offering a discounted price to my listeners. My coaching program that will go into more detail. Of course, I do not have the time here to share with you all the processes I use with my clients to help them move from negative thinking to positive results in their life and relationship. Like I have shared, I had an individual call me asking me to help him with his negative thinking. His wife was getting ready to file for divorce papers and he felt that if he was more positive and he could show his wife that he was changing, she would stop the proceedings. We scheduled a time to talk and he did not show up. I had another individual call me after seeing my book on a friend's table. She showed up for her appointment. From the first session, she started towards a new look on life. After three sessions, she sent me a text about how good she felt. When we first met, she did not even feel worthy to be here on earth. We have a choice in everything we do. How do you show up for the one thing is how you're going to show up for everything. Do you keep your commitments or do you not show up at all? Do you want to change, but you are not showing up to receive the gifts and opportunities that are right in front of you? Or do you keep your commitments? Do the work to begin changing to a positive life. I am giving you this opportunity. Are you going to show up? or make excuses. Take the time and commitment by going to positivemindset.tv or lisamyers.com and sign up for a free relationship strategy session with me. This is the first step to see if we are a right fit and if what I have to offer is what you need. There's no pressure, there's no hype, it's just a conversation. What do you have to lose life of negativity. Here is what one client said. I went from not being able to perform my job duties to being successful at my job, helping my peers, working on big projects, and receiving a very positive annual review. My marriage is stronger than ever and I'm down to half the medication I was on. Lisa helped guide me to a positive new beginning. Oh, and I lost 24 pounds just from letting go. Lisa, don't ever think the work you do doesn't help people. I love you. Thank you, Laura. Don't wait. Sign up today. There is a limited time of space, and the coaching program will begin in the next few weeks. If you like what you, what you hear, please share it with others on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Until next week, you are creating your life and relationships. If you are not happy with the results, I can help. Go to positivemindset.tv or lisamyers.com and receive your free relationship strategy session with me today. Until next week, you make the world a better place.